just kind of that overall balance and maturity you like in a junior three to having the first cab. And today, she gets, it's a close racing, and she's just a little cleaner cut when you get in tight, a little cleaner over the pins, a little cleaner and sharper over the shoulder, and just a little stronger on those rear pastures moving out today in this beautiful long body red cow we have in the third. You have to admire this red cow. She's long. She's stylish. She's got a lot of work from that on her. A lot of work from that on her. The cow today has a little bit more of bloom and maturity than this uh, very youthful second cow that we have coming out with her. But I really like this second cow. I think this cow's got a great future too. Cow, you love her up through her front end, her long day neck, her squareness. We look good at her today. She's just a little more upstanding, a little more length, a little more up in the air today. In this beautiful balance, wide other cow we have coming out in the fifth. The fifth cow, she spells milk, she's dairy, she's wide, she's got a deep seam in that udder. And today she carries her udder up higher for me, higher from the hock to the bottom of the udder. Uh, she's a little nicer the way she carries her tail out into the center of her top over this recently fresh cow that follows her. Just a beautiful class of cows all the way down. Congratulations again to these breeders and exhibitors. Thank you. For those of you that are marking your catalog, there are 13 junior three-year-olds. Entry number 1401 was second for Mike and Julie Duncan of Rudolph, Wisconsin. 1402 was 11th. 1403 was 8th. 1404 did not show. 1405 was 7th. 1406 was 5th and first bred known for Chris and Mike McCullough of Judah, Wisconsin. 1407 was 13th. 1408 did not show. 1409 was fourth with the first junior for Patrick Blair, Blair of Belleville, Wisconsin. 1410 was sixth and won the production award for Seabers Holsteins. 1411 was twelfth in the second junior and first junior bred known for Jordan and Claire Van Dyke of New Richmond. 1412 was tenth. 1413 did not show. 1414 was the winning entry and bust utter. Earhart Gold Beauty, exhibited by Peter Lynn Vale and Bud John Farms, Lamar, Wisconsin. 14.15 did not show, 14.16 was third, and 14.17 was ninth. Class known in the ring are the senior three-year-olds. The All-Wisconsin Trophy is sponsored by the Waukesha County Holstein Breeders. The Reserve All-Wisconsin by Marty and Kenyon, Trudy Kenyon of Kenyon Holsteins. The Junior Award from Indian Head Holsteins, the Best on a Ribbon from Lafayette County Holstein Breeders, and the Production Award by Rosedale Holsteins.
Junior Activities Committee, and uh, yesterday, last night they had a showmanship contest, and one of our JACs, uh, Rachel Hardlop, is going to give us some of the results of the showmanship from last night. Rachel? Hi, everyone. I'm just going to give a quick recap of our successful showmanship contest last night. For the junior division, we had 24 participants. In third place, we had Grant Frenstead from Lone Rock. In second place was Devaney Polly from Loyal County. And in first place, we had Cole Wood from Plymouth. For the senior division, we had 17 participants. In third place was Elizabeth Starbacher from Verona. Um, in second place, we had Adrian, Andrea Pagenkoff from Lancaster. And in first place was Jason Kearns. I would just like to say a big thank you to Accelerated Genetics. Uh, they sponsored all of our awards for the district shows and the state show showmanship contest. And I'd also like to thank Ryan Weigel for judging the contest. Thank you, Rachel. Again, uh, there's, juniors are very active here, and I uh, just want you to know we also have junior raffle tickets for a cap raffle to be given away. They are also for sale, so if you want to get involved with that, uh, certainly you can find out one of these juniors and get involved with our cap raffle as well.
For those of you that are marking your catalog, there were 14 senior three-year-olds. Reading down your catalog, 1501 and 2 did not show. 1503 was 8th and the 2nd junior for Andrea Pagenkoff of Lancaster. 1504 and 5 did not show. 1506 was 11th. 1507 did not show. 1508 was 4th and the best utter for Matt Travis Smith. 1509 was 5th. 1510 was 12th. 1511 was the winning entry for Jordan and Whitney Ebert of Algoma. 1512 was 7th and the first junior owned animal, presented by Jeff Coster and Gracie Curran of Taylor, Wisconsin. 1513 did not show. 1514 was second from Elk Source Genetics. 1515 was 14th. 1516 did not show. 1517 was ninth. 1518 was third and the first bred known for Matthew Nunes of Chippewa Falls. 1519 was 13th and won the production award for Kimberly Keller. 1520 was sixth. Entry number 1522 was 10th. Her name was Ocean View with Damien Carla, and she was exhibited by San Ron Holstein in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Class 9 Green will be our intermediate champion. First place trophy here is sponsored by the Wood County Holstein Breeders. The reserve intermediate champion receives a trophy sponsored by Keijo Holsteins. Leading our parade is our junior two-year-old winner, entry number 1209, Green Prairie, GW, Alberta, presented by Carrie and Joy Mosher. Second to 1216, Miss Opportunity Gracie, exerted by Mike and Julie Duckett. The winning senior two-year-old was 1316, Rocket Hill 2, Atwood, Crisco, exerted by Rachel McCullough. Second to 1321, Arcoy, Goldwyn, Shamik, by Peter Lynn Vale and Bud John Farms. Junior three year old winner was 1414, Earhart Gold Beauty, by Peter Lynn Vale and Bud John Farms. Second was 1401, Milk Source Goldwood Ladybug, exhibited by Milk Source. The senior three year old winner was 1511, Bud John Vale Gold Dreams, exhibited by Jordan and Whitney Ebert. And the second senior three year old was 1514, Balmoral. Alexander Peach, human body milk source genetics. These are the animals competing for an intermediate champion. Thank you. 
After our intermediate champion, we have our four-year-old class, so please have your four-year-old cows in for the show arena.
the classes, the winners have been tremendous, and uh, I'd like to commend the exhibitors and graders for bringing out this fine quality. When it comes right down to it, you got to go, you got to look at the cows in the middle that are on the money that day. And uh, as much as uh, I love that pair of junior twos, I just feel they need a little more time. Uh, the ones you've excused, just beautiful cows. And these four to me are in their, in their form today. We have those pair of senior twos, just a beautiful pair of young cows. And that was a tremendous class, uh, all the way to the bottom. Just tremendous individuals. We've got this junior three, just a beautiful balanced dairy cow that just uh, just stands out there and looks good at all times. We've got the senior three. Talk about dairy and, and angularity and quality, just a cow with pure dairiness and silk all the way through. I'm not going to describe these cows. You've heard me talk about them enough, and I'd like to give it away. I'm going to go I'm going to tap my intermediate champion. I'm going to tap those there, but I'm going to tap an honorable mention in that order. And even if you don't agree with me, you put your hands together for these exhibitors.
Walking on the bleachers pretty Thank you. 
told me I had to be fast. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, and that was. As far as I know, but I'll have you check.
we've had uh, two beautiful young ladies working very hard here over the last two days, handing out trophies, awards, and ribbons. Morgan Benke is our princess from Duclaris, Green County, and our princess attendant is Crystal Seamus Peterman from Newton, Wisconsin, in Manitowoc County. And Crystal has a few updates on the juniors. Thank you, Dr. Spellman. Thank you, everyone, for coming out today to Lancaster. We've had a great summer so far, and it's great to see everyone coming out for this event. Last week, we had national convention in Indianapolis, and we had outstanding youth participate in a large group go down to Indiana as well. Yes. Jordan Seamers was national JAC candidate, and he won the District 3. Okay. Charlie Hamilton was our DJM finalist, and Chad and Amy Ryan, Ryan your whole team, were younger, younger, younger dairy men and won that award. So it's great to see all Wisconsin youth and adults coming out and showing their best, and they really showed what Wisconsin has to offer. Next up in August, we'll try to be the heat in West Allis when all counties participate in Junior State Fair. Junior State Fair has always been a great time for me as I met some of my closest friends all from all over Wisconsin. And then in August 10th, we'll see everyone dress their best and dress to impress at the Wisconsin State Futurity on August 10th. There we'll have a lot of little door prizes and um, talk about all of our great house, and I really look forward to seeing you there as well. Then a little bit closer to home is the Wisconsin State Picnic at Seamers Whole Team. I invite each and every one of you to come to Newton, Wisconsin, as we are going to have a lot of fun with Build Your Own Sundays and Hamburgers, along with farm tours, a judging contest, and a lot more to name and a lot to name a few. I want everyone to come and have a great time. There's going to be a dance as well. And it's a great time for us to wrap up the summer and really reflect on what we have to offer at Wisconsin. <laughs> also, a reminder for all juniors is that our deadline September, is September 16th for all junior awards. Now, it's a little earlier, so I don't, so I want everyone to be aware 